listen to Joe. Why are tech house tracks like starlings, the birds? Because they're all the same and they're all different. And under the bright lights, they shimmer like rainbows. All you need for a joke is a question and an answer. People will tell you otherwise, but my Starlings joke is just as good as any you'll hear. And that's the end of it. So I don't want to hear any further discussion on the matter, if that's not too much to ask. Mm. Anyway, so how are we all? Well, I hope. I hope you are well. Well, listen, guys, life is challenging. Life is full of challenges. That's what makes it so funny. That's what makes it such a fun time, is all the challenges, all the endless challenges, from the moment you open your eyes to the moment you close them. So anyhow, life is challenging, as I just said, and you can't shrink from the challenges of life. Sure, you can try. We can all try. Trying to shrink from the challenges of life has been very much my MO since day dot. I'm well versed in trying to shrink from the challenges of life, is what I'm saying. But sometimes you have to accept them. Sometimes you have to take them on. Well, I've been set a challenge. As you might have guessed from all this incessant talk about challenges, my friend Charlie Chaos has challenged me over the course of six days to share the covers of six albums that I consider to have been formative to my development. Just the covers, mind you. No explanation, no apologies. No contextualizing information. No links. With just a short bit of text at the top to explain that I've been issued a challenge by my friend Charlie Chaos to post the artwork from six of my most favorite albums, one a day for six days, and that I will be posting it alone, with no blurb, no accompanying anecdote, just images, although there will be text before the image. And I asked Charlie Chaos why I couldn't include any more details. People tend to like some details, don't they? And he said that actually they didn't and never had, and all they'd ever wanted was just the pure images with no mess. And I said to Charlie Chaos that maybe I could include some personal details separate to anything to do with the albums. Maybe I should explain that when I was a child, I realized that the area near Safeways looked gray, but smelled green, and that I liked it to be so. And it was the first time I noticed that I had preferences in this life. And Charlie Chaos asked me what in the world I was talking about and said that I should never include that in anything, and not least in this instance, when he's told me and quite specifically told me to only include the album artwork and no extra bits. And I said to Charlie Chaos that maybe I should also pose an unrelated question just to keep people occupied mentally. Maybe after the cover image I could appeal to any scientist who might be reading, ask if they could tell me whether or not light renews, or whether, as I suspect, when I look out the window, that the light is the same as the light from the 1990s. And Charlie Chaos said, no, just the album covers. It's quite clear. I was really very clear with the instructions. Unless you don't want to do it, And I said, no, 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 I do. Because I do want to do it. In fact, I begin tomorrow. And I couldn't be more excited to start. I never particularly got on in life. I see that now. But that doesn't matter anymore. And if someone asks me, hey, whatever happened to you? I'll tell them, yeah, I used to be somebody but it started to wear me out. And in any case, I've got this challenge to be getting on with now. So get yourselves all the way out of my face.